Hi guys, so today I am talking about your freemium. What will you give to clients for free that is gonna provide value to them and make them drawn to you? Um, you know mine is my meal plan and I've had a lot of success with that. I've had a lot of people, people love things for free. So figure out who your target market is and what you think that will help them most reach their goals. So I have a couple questions for you and I want you to write down verbatim what I'm writing, what I'm asking. And that's going to be you asking yourself that about your particular freemium, whatever it may be. Maybe you're creating, you know, a five day exercise um, that they can, it'll be video and they can sign up and then you'll send them, you know, the five short and quick videos of exercises. Maybe it's a meal plan. Maybe it's, you know, an ebook. You think and you find out what works for you. Okay, so I'm going to have you write down these things. It Feel free to pause me if you need. And I want you to sit down right now and, and do this. And so this is from Shaleen Johnson, and she tells us to write down everything. It doesn't matter what order you write it in, but you're going to break this down into 20-minute tasks. So what I'm going to have you do is write these questions down and leave four spaces so that you can break it down further into 20-minute tasks. If you just write down, create freemium and send it out, that's not a 20-minute task at all. So um, I'm going to have you do these things, and then... Um, It'll be on your to-do list, and I want you to do two of these things each day. So if it's a 20-minute task, and you're doing two of them a day for the next five days, you're going to knock out 10 of those things on your list. And I want you to do it. Put it in your planner. I am making you do this. This is your homework. You are not getting out of it. Okay, and if you already have a freemium, maybe it's time to upgrade it. Maybe it's time to change it. You have a lot of customers maybe from it, but um, maybe you need to offer something new. Not that you need to change it up every two months, but you should always be providing value. So, okay, what is your freemium? So what are you gonna give them for value? How will they sign up for your freemium? Are they going to do an email responder? Is it going to be from your blog, Facebook? Are they going to email you? Write that down. Um, how will you create your freemium? And this needs to be steps broken down. So for example, for my meal plan, I got together some of my recipes. I researched other quick and easy recipes from Instagram accounts I liked. I Googled and then I put them all together. What similar freemiums will you research? You should probably look at other people's eBooks or meal plans or whatever. I mean, if you Google free meal plan, you're gonna find a lot and see what you like, what you don't like and how you can make yours good or the best. Um, what type of people are you targeting? Who do you want to ask for your meal plan? Who do you want to ask for your freemium? Write that down. And you're gonna see what ways you can target it to them even more. If you're specifically targeting busy moms, you know, you could maybe even put in a couple recipes for, you know, picky little ones. So think about that. Um, what type, oh, I just read that. How will you dispense your freemium. Are you going to email it? Are you going to put it on your blog after that they will get after an opt-in? How are you going to give it to them actually? And if it's something you need to set up, write down the steps that you're going to do that. How will you promote it? This is a big one. Just because you have it doesn't do you any good. People have to know that you have it. Are you going to paste, post to Facebook? Are you going to post to Instagram? Are you going to maybe hire somebody from Elance to make an awesome looking visual picture that's going to promote it? Because yes, you could sit around on PicMonkey and spend an hour doing something, but you could also pay somebody like 15 bucks and make something amazing and you could be going on doing other things of your premium. I'll give you a quick example. And this is even after Shalene Johnson. And she tells you to 
figure out how much your hour is worth. Now, my hour is worth more than $20, but I had somebody say, I'll make your YouTube banner for you, it's 20 bucks. And I'm like, I don't wanna pay 20 bucks, I can do this myself. So the other night I was babysitting, and instead of doing work, their kids were in school, or in bed, I sat around for an hour and a half and fiddled with this thing and it looks like crap. And I wasted an hour and a half of my time when I should have just paid that person 20 bucks. So think about how much your time is worth. Um, I have a couple more questions and I can talk on that a little. How will you follow up with anybody that signs up for your free moon? Okay, you got your free moon, cool. Goodbye. <laughs> Probably not the best idea. Can you get them into a Facebook group? Are you creating a specific Facebook group? If you are creating a group, what's the name gonna be called? How are they gonna be added? Who can be added? Is your team going to be able to utilize this group? I think you see where I'm going. Write this all down. Write all those questions down and you can figure it out as you go. Um, and you may say, okay, so maybe I'm in a group, but what do I wanna do to keep their intention? Or maybe they're not in a group, they're just on my email list. What are you gonna to continue to send them to keep their attention? And how are you gonna get them as a free customer? You want them to sign up with your free player membership so that if they order anything in the future, they're gonna be under you. So how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna uh, incorporate that? And the last thing I want you to do is I want you to figure out how much money you made last year. How many hours a day do you work? How many days a week do you work? Figure out how many hours in the last year that you worked and you know, figure out how much your hour is worth based on how much you brought home. I bet you it's worth more money than you think. So don't put off paying somebody a few dollars an hour on Elance when they can do something better than you, you have to let go of that control. I just, I just um, got hired somebody on Elance to transcribe some of my YouTube videos I'm going to create. I'm gonna do some um, positive body confidence videos and then I'm gonna get somebody to transcribe them and then I'm gonna turn them into blog posts and then I'm gonna have that person upload it to my blog and then I'm gonna have them share it to Pinterest and do a couple of my pictures so that people can pin it and it links to my blog, all right there and all from one video that I made. So figure out ways that you can make this freemium not take over your next two weeks. Use Elance, it's easy, it's safe, just you know, you may want to interview people, but it's worth it. So I want you to focus on making this year the best year yet and the most efficient year yet and stop putting things off. I want you to write down every single goal that you have. I want you to write down every single thing in your head that you need to do, you think that you need to do. And I want you to list it as A, B, C. A are the things that you need to do today or somebody will die. If I don't do this today, like somebody's gonna die. <laughs> For me today, I have to film three workout videos or someone will die because I haven't in so long and I'm running out of material to post. Okay, B is something you have to do this week. If I have a deadline of something I have to put in the mail for a client, you know, if I have a something I have to turn in to somebody, that's B. It may not be right now today, but I have to do it before the week is over, that's gonna be B. And C is eventually. And so you make your to-do list and I do this the day before and I it helps me sleep better if I make my to-do list the night before. And then I go through and I do A, B, C. If I get all my A's done the next day, then I can start chipping away at the B's. And then the next day I remake my, nope, my to-do list and I A, B, C. Now you wanna make sure the C's aren't staying on there for two months at a time and make a conscious, conscious effort, effort to get them done or reevaluate if you actually need to do them if they've stayed on there forever. Um, 
Or if they've stayed on there forever, you're obviously putting them off for some reason and I want you to focus on outsourcing them. So I would like you to take the time to write out these questions, get yourself an outline of what you will need to do, write down the 10 of the first things that you need to do, star them, and then write them down in what order you want to do them. So what you have written down as tasks, I want you to go through, star them, star the first, ten, the first top 10, and then rewrite them in order, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and that's what you're gonna work on, two of those a day for the next five days. So below, I want you to post your 10 things that you are going to do. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this group as much as I did. And I hope that you realize that the more value you offer for free, the more people will learn to trust you. The more people will just be drawn to you. They're gonna refer more people to you. I have people all the time like, oh my God, seriously, you're giving me this for free? Oh my gosh, I, somebody tried to charge me $200 the other day for one. Yeah, for free. So I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. And I really hope that you take a lot away from this group and that you just keep pushing forward. So I'll talk to you later.